Beloved, it's not yet time for you to give up. It's not yet time for you to be discouraged. Because surely, whatever God has promised for you will surely come to pass. It's not a time for you to throw the nets and thinking and start saying, I've labored all through the night and I caught nothing. Peter was, Peter, Peter was at the point of being discouraged and said, We have labored all through the night, Master, but we caught nothing. But at the instant of your word, we will throw the net again. We will go back again. We will go back to fish again. We will go back and try our best again. Beloved, it's not time for you to give up. It may look as if things are not the way, are not, are not working out the way you plan. It seems as if things are not working out the way God has told you about. It seems as if the plan that you have for the year is not going the way you want it to be. But it's not time for you to give up yet. The promises are sure. The promises are here. Nothing can change it. Nothing can divert it. All what you need is to remain focused. Keep trusting the Lord. Keep believing Him. Because surely it will come to pass. It's just say the vision is for an appointed time, though it may tarry. But surely it will not lie. It will come to pass. It's not time to give up. It's not time for you to be discouraged. There are things are happening here and there, but it is still not time for you to give up. Keep pushing. Keep trusting in the Lord. Keep looking up towards heaven. Keep looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Your head may be failing you at this time. Keep trusting the word of the Lord. That said, by his stripe you are made here. There are difficulty years and there, but always keep trusting the Lord and believe him that he will supply all your need. Apostle Paul said, and the Lord shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Keep trusting him. Keep professing the word. Things are happening and say, ah, this is not how I thought it would be. This is not what the Lord told me. This is not what this not, was not the word the direction the Lord showed me. And at that point, at this point, I be ready to give up. So ah, I never know this year will be like this. I never know this economy will turn to this point. I never know that this situation will be this hard. And you are at the point of giving up. And you are at the point of forsaking the faith. And at the point of forsaking everything and say, I'm giving up. Beloved, it is not time for you to give up yet. It's not time, time for you to be discouraged. The promises will definitely come to reality. The fulfillment of those things will come to pass at the right, at right time. At time appointed by the Lord, those things will come to reality. You may think, ah, these are the things the Lord told me. And now I'm experiencing a different thing. This is not what the Lord told me concerning my marriage. And look at what I'm passing through. This is not what the Lord told me about my wife. And look at what she's passing through. This is not what the Lord told me about my husband. But look at where we are today. Keep trusting the Lord. Because the vision is for an appointed time. It may tarry, but it will not we do not lie. It will surely, surely, surely come to pass. No wonder it's one that the blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress, glory divine. It is assured it of a certainty that whatever the Lord has promised you, it will come to pass. It might only tarry, it might only be delayed, but the time appointed, it will come to reality. The Lord has spoken things, consigns your life, consigns your family, consigns your children. Keep trusting Him and keep believing Him. There are things that are happening around you this day and you can begin to think, oh, what about those things that the Lord told me about? Beloved, don't be discouraged. Let me read to you a scriptural verse before I conclude. In Hebrews chapter 10 and in verse 37. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 37. We say, for, for yet a little while, 
yet a little discomfort, yet a little disapproval, yet a little pain, for yet a little why, he that shall come will come and will not tarry, beloved. Yet a little while, he who has promised to come again will come and will not tarry. Yet a little while, he that has promised that consigns of life will bring them to reality, it will not tarry, it will surely come to pass. Yet a little while, all what the Lord has said consigns your life shall do what shall come to reality. He said, Yet a little while, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. This scripture do not only speak about the return of Christ alone, but it speaks about the promises, it speaks about the counsel. He speak about the plan that God has for our life. He speak about the, the, the promises God has given to us. The scripture says, He is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And says, Aid it, and shall it not come to pass? Whatever the Lord has told you, yet a little while, that promise will come to reality. Yet a little while, that promise will come to fulfillment. Yet a little while, that promise will come to realization. Only you trust and believe can continue believing in Him. Yet a little pain, yet a little disapproval, yet a little discouragement, yet a little downcasting. It will not be too long, yet a little while, He that shall come will come. Are you single and you are trusting God and say, Lord, where will the bone of my bone come? Yet a little while, he that shall come will come. Yet a little while, he, she that shall come will come. Are you married and you are seeking for the fruit of the womb? Don't be discouraged. Keep trust in the Lord. Yet a little while, he that will come will come. Do you remember the case of Abraham, which may necessarily not be your own case? Abraham waited for 25 years before Isaac came. When I'm trusting and believing God for your own case, it may not be that long. But yet a little while, he that shall come will come. Keep trusting him. Keep believing him. His words are yea and amen. Is it yet a little while he that shall come will come and will not tarry? Beloved, try, cry, Jesus is coming again. It will not be too long again, Christ will return. It will not be too long again, our master will come to take the saint back home. The question you must keep asking yourself Am I all? Are you ready? Am I ready? You must be always be ready for his return. Yet a little while he that shall come will come. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, and I will come again and have you to myself. Yet a little while he that shall come will come. Even as you are expecting these promises concerning your life, if you are expecting this intervention over your health, health issue, even as you are expecting intervention over your financial issue, even as you are expecting intervention over your financial and ministerial issue, keep trusting Him also and be expecting this return. Because yet a little while, He that shall come will come. It will not be too long again, there will be fulfillment of those prophecies. Beloved, it will not be too long again. There will be an accomplishment of all those things that the Lord has taught you. Beloved, it will not be too long again. The promises that God has consigned your household, your family, your ministry, your finance will come to pass. Things are difficult where you are at this time. The economy is biting hard on many people and on everyone. But don't give up. Because he that shall come will come and will not tarry. At the time appointed, his plans, his purpose, his desire, his will will be accomplished in your life. Above it all, beloved, don't forget this fact. 
everything that is happening around us at this time in this dispensation is pointing to the return of Christ. And that is why the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 37, it said, Yet a little while he that shall come, he that was prof the prof that was prophesied, that is coming was prophesied, yet a little while he will come, he will return. You may be imagining that ah, we've been hearing this several years past, but yet surely it will return. As they are speaking about the prophecy about Christ's birth, about Christ's death and Christ's resurrection and Christ's return, it, although it took 700 years before that came to pass in the, in the New Testament, but the bottom line is it came to reality. Those prophecies were fulfilled. That is to tell you that it will not be too long again. He that will come, will come and he will not tarry. Look above, look above the pain. Look away from the, from the discomfort. Focus attention on him. It's because they're looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The author and the finisher of our faith. Let our eyes remain on him. Everything that is happening in our vicinity, in our country, in our nation, with the economy, with the, with the hardship, with the difficulties around us, is pointing to the return of Christ. And that is why the scripture is reminding you at this very moment in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 37, he said, Yet a little while he that shall return will return. Yet a little while he that shall come will come and will not tarry. It will not be too long again, beloved. Christ will return. And our pains will be over, our worries will be over. Rest will be our portion. Beloved, it is a joy. That day it will be a day of joy for many. And that day also will be a day of weeping and gnashing of teeth to millions. Of which side will it be when Christ returns? He said, when the Christ shall come, will you find faith on earth? Will you be counted among the faithful? Will you be counted among the faithful? Will you be counted among those that are still standing when Christ shall return? When this scripture will be fulfilled, yet a little while he that shall come will come and will not hurry. When this scripture will be fulfilled, where will you be found? When the prophecy, promises of God, covenant the Lord has made with you, when those things will be fulfilled, fulfilling in, in, in time and eternity, will you be standing in your own position? Will you be standing in your own place to receive the fulfillment of those things? Beloved, there's something I've come to understand. Every promises and every covenant God made is stand by it. But it's unfortunate that most of the time, we be believers, we must have shifted away from where we are supposed to stand when the promises is coming. When the Lord shall come, will He find faithful people on earth? Will you be counted among the faithful who will stand at the gate? Will you be counted among the faithful who will stand at the door? Will you be counted among the faithful who will stand at the feed? Faithful to the servant. Faithful to the to this assignment of the of the master as servants, will you stand? Will you find you faithful, or will you find among those people that are rejected, forsaken? May the Lord help us, and may the Lord help you. Beloved, don't forget. Yet a little while, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Father, we ask that the grace to stand, to remain on our duty post. Even this difficult time, even in this season of hardship, even when things seem to be difficult around us, Lord, grant us the grace to keep standing, that when you will return, we know it will not be too long again, yet a little while you that will come will come and you will not tarry. Grant us the grace to keep standing to the very end. Help us, Lord. And those that are unsaved, Lord, we ask, as this word comes to them, Lord, minister to their heart. As they surrender their life to you, forgive them of their sin and write their name in the book of life. 
and Lord, whatever storm, no, 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 what, whatever issue in the life of your people, and as the point of discouragement, you know, Lord, I pray, let there be speedy solution now to that health issue, to that financial issue, to that family issue, to that medical issue. Let there be a divine solution now, and I speak calmness to every storm, and I say, peace be still. To that family, peace be still. To that health issue, peace be still. To that financial issue, peace be still. And let your name alone be glorified. Grant us the grace to push to the very end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.